Hello and welcome to Geography Gen. Today I'm going to be looking at how you measure scale using an ordnance survey map. So first of all let's have a little look and see what the scale is on the map. So on the front of the ordnance survey map it tells you the scale is 1 to 25,000. What that means is every one centimetre is 25,000 centimetres in real life. So one centimetre on the map it equals 25,000 centimetres. What that means is that one centimetre equals 250 metres or quarter of a kilometre. So if you were trying to measure distances using a ruler on this map, every four centimetre you measure will be equal to one kilometre. So let's have a little look and see if we can calculate some distances using this map. So if I go up onto the map and find some places that we can have a go at measuring distances between, um, over here we've got a campsite and over here we've got Polster, which is a police station. So if we wanted to measure the distance between these two places, all I'll do is take a ruler and I'll just measure from the centre of the campsite to the police station and you should be able to see that this is uh, seven centimetres. Now this is not seven centimetres in real life because seven centimetres is obviously very a very short distance. So we've got to now convert that into kilometres. So I'm going to use a little calculator for that. So I'm going to type in seven and I'm going to divide it by four. And that equals 1.75. So what that means is the distance between the campsite and the police station is 1.75 kilometres. Sometimes you might get a trickier one. So you might have to measure the distance between somewhere, say for example, if you were going to drive from Lulworth Cove to doo -doo 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 -doo, the castle over here, to Lulworth Castle, then you would have to measure the distance along the road. Now the road is bendy, so it's a little bit trickier this. So what I would suggest you do is I would measure it in little sections and add them up together. So for example, that's one centimetre, okay? This is a further two centimetres approximately. So, so far, if I add them up down here, so I've got one plus two. And then I'll measure another section here, so it's fairly straight along there. So I've got four. So I've got plus four. And then I keep measuring up until this junction, which is approximately two. So plus two. And then I've got to go from this junction all the way up here. So this is about five to there. So I go back here, plus five. And then I go back to my spot here. And I've got to go to the edge of this road here. So that's plus four. And then I've just got to do this last little section here to get to the castle. So that's one. So I put plus one. Then on the calculator, I can add these all up so or I could add them up in my head these ones really but anyway one plus two plus four plus two plus five plus four plus one equals and the answer is 19 okay so I know it's 19 centimeters so then all I do is I say okay 19 and I divide that by four and now I can find out that the answer should be 4.75 kilometres. So the distance along the road from Lulworth Cove to Lulworth Castle is 4.75 kilometres. <laughs> 